When you're young and you first read it, you know, you it's I you know, I I love the poetry of it and the and the humor and the strangeness of the situation and and now as I'm uh, a much older person it's it just seems like life it just seems this is this is these are the conversations I have every day what do we do now it is the most psychologically um, alive play uh, that I maybe have ever read I think roundabout subscribers though they are by and large, very, very knowledgeable about theater. I think they will be surprised at how funny this play is. It's certainly the hardest piece I've ever worked on. The transitions are like lightning. The Estragon and Vladimir are the two tramps on the country road waiting for Mr. Gatto. They often say that they're two sides of the same person, really. Although I, I do think Estragon is, is more intelligent than he's sometimes given credit for. Vladimir seems to uh, fancy himself something of a philosopher. At the same time, he's a sort of toothless bum. Bill's character is very much uh, trying to figure it all out and still h hangs on to this hope that it's, it will work out. And I'm a little more, I, I, you know, I don't really care. I just want to go to sleep. And like any relationship, and which is really the crux of the play, is their, is their relationship. It's, 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 um, it's very moving and, and they, you know, they try to entertain each other and they fight and they... And they, they keep saying, you know, we, I, my character keeps saying um, it would be better if we parted. But then they, they can't. They're sort of, they're so dependent on one another and, and it's re really all they have. Um, and um, I think anyone can relate to that. I play the role of Pazzo, who's like this big stalker, Nazi character, kind of, and you know, with a heart of gold. The role of Lucky is... Um he, do, he doesn't speak, say, for th three pages of dialogue, which on first read makes no sense. So I started working on it, and I feel I've been learning to speak aphasia, or learning the language of aphasia. I and mean, that's why I just want to play with John Goodman, because that, there's some kind of relationship there that they have. So what the roundabout exists as today has been built from troubled times in, in past decades, and every time I look through the ABCs and the New York Times, that's the roundabout is offering that and that and that, and upcoming is that and that and that. Uh, it's a testament to me of of uh, tenacity and, and just passion for the theater. This will be my fourth show at Roundabout. Uh, first was Give Me Your Answer, Do when the, when the century turned, and then I came back uh, in uh, a few years later and did the Paris Letter that Doug Hughes directed with Ron Rifkin and Michelle Pauk and Jason Butler Harner. And then last summer I uh, did The Marriage of Bette and Boo with uh, Kate Jennings Grant and uh, Victoria Clark and Julie Haggerty that Walter Bobby directed. I have a, a history with The Roundabout. Many years ago I did She Stoops to Conquer for The Roundabout and then um, uh, oh, I uh, christened the American Airlines Theater with uh, a lovely production of The Man Who Came to Dinner and uh, I'm very fond of Todd Haynes, and, and so um, I, I'm happy. I, I'm sorry it's taken so long to come back, but um, I'm very happy it's with, with this play.